Hello everyone, my name is Aqua and today we're gonna start another shipping week. This time it's Xiaobedo. But what is Xiaobedo, you might ask? Well, it's simply the name of a ship between Xiao and Abedo from Genshin Impact. So you don't know Genshin Impact? Well, first of all, thank you for watching anyway. I really appreciate that you clicked on this video even without knowing what Genshin Impact is. Or I'm just thankful for the algorithm, something like that. Anyway, here's a short summary from Wikipedia. Genshin Impact is an action role-playing game, developed and published by MiHoYo. The game features an open-world environment and action-based battle system, using elemental magic and character switching, and uses gacha game monetization for players to obtain new characters, weapons and other resources. Shao and Albedo are 5-star characters, from event banners meaning they are powerful characters that are only available in the gacha for a limited time. Now the week itself works like most shipping weeks. We got a time frame of one week. Each day has two prompts that can be chosen from. And then you just do it. Fan out, fan fiction, edits, whatever you want. Now, if you have seen last year's video I made about Fukunara week, I also decided to make this work as the entry for day four as well. Scratch that. I didn't get any idea for the prompts given on this day, so I took a prompt from day 5 again. Yeah, same thing happened again. This time I got a lot of inspiration from some prompts, but others not so much. And that's why I bend the rules a bit. Day 1 will be a fan art based on its prompt. Day 2, on the other hand, will be a one shot based on the fan art and the prompt of day 1. The same thing I plan doing for day 3 and day 4, as well as day 5 and day 6. Day 7 will be a fan art unrelated to the others. That's also why this time around I make multiple videos instead of a single big one. Continuously switching between speed paint and audiobook didn't seem like a good idea for me. Now last but not least, before you ask me why I ship two characters without interactions, it's not like I already spent five years shipping two characters on two very different shows in both genre and story, so I even made five crappy AMVs about them, but since I got no editing skills it looked like it was a slideshow and now I rediscovered them I still like them. Uh. With other words, I don't even need eye contact between characters to ship them. I stumbled over a fanfiction involving Shao and Albedo, liked the dynamic and that's how I ended up here. I guess that makes sense. Anyway, let's get started with day one. So, day one. Prompt is warmth. As you can see, I already did the sketches beforehand. That way I could jump right up into the line art. I have seen some people struggling with Albedo's hair, and I have to admit that this was also something that I had to deal with. But luckily, my favorite character from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is Fugo, who also has a weird piece of hair hanging in his face. When I noticed that, I started drawing the lock of Albedo like Fugu's hair, and here we go! I have to admit, the blankets in the picture are very, very convenient. That way I can avoid drawing most of the outfits. Don't get me wrong, I like them, a lot actually. But they are also very, very complex. This is probably the reason why I only did a handful of Genshin drawings by now.
while coloring the characters, I noticed some of the drawing on the same layer issues. That's why you can see me go back and forth here. A lot. I struggled with a fire quite a bit. I haven't drawn any in a long while, but I'm happy how it turned out. And with that, we are done! I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope I can keep it up and do a video every day for that week. But in case I can't do it on time one day, don't worry, I will keep you up to date on my Twitter. I'm also on Instagram, so if you want to, you can also follow me there. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!